Good morning, everyone. Today we uh, celebrate the uh, feast day of uh, uh, St. Patrick for March the 17th in 2013. Although legends uh, abound concerning the life and work of Patrick, Apostle of Ireland, he tells us about himself in his confession uh, written near the end of his life. His uh, father was a Roman tax collector, and he held a position in the government of a Roman settlement in what is a modern-day uh, Wales. At 16, uh, Patrick was carried off and uh, sold in a, in a primate, in a pirate raid, and sold as a slave in Ireland. He was a made. He was made a swineherd, living in a solitude of uh, on a mountain. His uh, radical change forced him to rely on the Christians' training, and his prayer and ascetism marked him forever. After serving his master for six years, Patrick heard a, an inner voice telling him that he would return to his homeland and that a boat would take him there. He made his escape, walking 300 kilometers to the uh, promised uh, ship. He landed in Gaul, Western Europe, and after many adventures, Patrick returned uh, to his parents in Britain. Later, he returned to Gaul to study for the priesthood, eventually becoming a bishop. And when the missionary to Ireland, St. Palladius, died, Patrick took his place, fulfilling his uh, dream of returning to evangelize the Irish. He was constantly at risk from hostile pagans, but by the time he died in 1492, he could see the fruits of his work. A native clergy was in place, and although there was a, still a danger, Christianity had reached in nearly all of Ireland, and churches of uh, the monasteries had uh, been established to uh, receive the constant stream of converts. He is a patron of Ireland and Nigeria, of engineers of several uh, Canadian dioceses, and of uh, those who fear snakes. Praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.